at times, especially closer to the coast. But skies are clear, and that means we're in for plenty of sunshine with high temperatures reaching the mid to upper 60s all around the tri state. Heather? All right, it's expected to be completed by 20. Find other ways to get around, right? Right, because they, they're saying, Brittany, they want people to come back into the city, and that's kind of like a de deserted kind of area, no places to eat, no place to sit down. So they want people who are working from home to come back to Fifth yeah. Avenue. So, you know, there's some ulterior motives. Yeah, I, yeah. I, get, I get it. Do we yeah. want to sit outside today to, uh, to have our lunch? You know, this at lunchtime, even this afternoon, especially this weekend, you want to get outside. Temperatures in the 70s right now. It's still chilly. We're down into the upper 20s in some areas, the 30s and the 40s. It's 49 degrees in Central Park. Winds near three miles per hour. Below freezing and Poughkeepsie and Sussex, Morristown and Somerville, 32 degrees, 40 in Belmar and good morning in Toms River. You're waking up to 41. We have this freeze warning for parts of the Hudson Valley, Northwest New Jersey and a frost advisory. That's in effect until nine o'clock. Winds are breezy in some areas, primarily closer to the coast. North winds up to eight to 13 miles per hour. And that will be the case all day with winds gusting up to 20 in some areas, especially around New Jersey. This is where we have an elevated fire risk because of that combination of breezy conditions and very dry air. Any small spark could spread very quickly. And with an offshore low and a recent uh, full moon, there is a, the potential for minor coastal flooding this morning throughout this afternoon during high tide. We have these coastal flood advisories for the area shaded in the lighter green color. Up to a foot of extra water above ground is possible. But skies are quiet. Most of the cloud cover well offshore and that low is now moving away from us in return. High pressure that's taking over and that will be our main weather maker today lasting throughout this weekend. This high pressure gets stronger, even higher up in the atmosphere and we'll have a change in the wind direction more so out of the southwest. That will pump in this milder air, pushing temperatures in the 70s all around the area and the 70s continue through the first half of next week. Here's a quick check of the tropics. Now, this area of low pressure we've been watching in the Southwest Caribbean Sea, that now has a higher chance of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but that's gonna run into the Yucatan Peninsula. And now, better news for this low just in the middle of the Atlantic, that chance of formation is now down to 10%. So development is unlikely. It's just gonna bring a round of heavier showers to portions of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. But for us today, dry, a chilly start, but a really nice afternoon. Highs in the upper 60s, sunny and breezy. Tonight, 50 in the city, the 40s in the suburbs. And tomorrow, warming up to 71 degrees. Plenty of sunshine and a warmer start. Sunday, the warmer half of the weekend, 75. Look at you go onto the Deegan <coughs> South, the ramp to the Cross Bronx Expressway. We still have weather and traffic together. We have a chilly morning, the 30s and the 40s. But things get better this afternoon with highs reaching the mid to upper 60s. And we'll enjoy mostly sunny skies all across the area. Heather? Cross Bronx East, right near Castle Hill Avenue accident, very heavy delays, and another one. Today is the last day for New York City's Health Commissioner, Dr. Ashwin Vassan, has been Friday. Let's get a check of the Acu with a forecast. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to the weekend, and I'm, I'm looking forward to today. Yeah, especially this afternoon, yeah, even though not. it's chilly right now, it gets better <laughs> as we head into the <laughs> afternoon hours. We get closer to the 70s in some areas, but right now, see, 31 in Poughkeepsie, 30 in Sussex, 45 degrees in White Plains, Morristown down to 30 for you, Tom's River up to 42. Throughout this afternoon highs warm up into the mid to upper 60s, so climbing closer, even above average in some areas. Dover, a high of 66 for you. Danbury, 67. Highland Falls, 66. And Olive, up to 66 degrees. It is breezy, especially for areas closer to the coast, and this will be the case throughout this afternoon. North winds ranging from 6 to 13 miles per hour, gusting up to 20 for parts of New Jersey, and this is where we have an elevated fire risk again because of that combination of gusty winds and very dry air. Any small spark could spread very quickly. Now going from fire to water, minor coastal flooding is possible for parts of New Jersey, the boroughs, Nassau, Westchester, and coastal Fairfield County during high tide throughout this afternoon. Up to a foot of extra water above ground is possible.
Skies are clear, quiet, and that means we're in for a nice and sunny day. Plenty of sunshine on tap thanks to high pressure and this area of low pressure that brought in some clouds yesterday afternoon that continues to move away from us. And high pressure, that will be our main weather maker throughout this weekend. It gets stronger and we'll have a change in the wind direction, more so out of the southwest that pushes in this milder air, bringing us up to temperatures in the 70s that will stick around through most of next week. But think that high pressure will also keep us dry as well. We're not really talking about rain until late Wednesday into early Thursday of next week. But speaking of rain, an area of showers and storms in the Southwest Caribbean Sea that has a higher chance of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but that will run into the Yucatan Peninsula. And better news for this tropical wave near the Leeward Islands, that has a much lower chance of formation. Development is now unlikely only 10%. Bottom line, bringing rain to parts of Puerto Rico over the next few days. But for us, dry the upper 60 sunny breezy north winds up to 8 to 16 miles per hour tonight 50 the 40s in the suburbs and tomorrow warming up to 71 degrees this warming trend continues on sunday 75 getting close to the eight so uh, this is very concerning about what's going on here on the cross bronx expressway east right near castle hill avenue it's a truck that's leaking 35 gallons of fuel so you can see that that truck feel giving us some good juju for our Mets, come on, pulling it out for him. I am, and I think, it, yeah, and I think it's funny, Shirley, because you've got Pedro to the right of you, who's like kind of weepy woey this morning, yeah. and then you've got yeah, me, who is far the opposite way. Yes. Real excited about this. Eternal optimist. I'm for so sure. jazzed. What? I, you don't know why? Because we're gonna win tonight. The Mets are gonna win. <laughs> the Yankees are gonna win. And we're gonna have a World Subway Series. Subway World Series. It's just going to happen. People are amped. Okay, so we had a rough night, both teams, last night. Okay, Yankees lost against the Guardians. Dodgers won. Okay, but today's a fresh new day. Okay, so the Dodgers are up in the series, 3-1. We're going to talk a little bit about the game last night, just to kind of get people caught up. Let's take a look at the video. Dodgers taking a commanding 3-1 series lead. Two games to one. Game four is tonight. 8:08 in Cleveland, back here at City Field. The Mets-Dodgers game, 5:08 p.m. Now remember, Brittany's talking about it's going to be spectacular weather. I second that. We are in the parking lot. It is barren right now, but it is going to be rocking later on, and it's a Friday. As I like to say, a Friday. Let's go, Mets. We're live here at City Field, Reagan Medjie Channel a 7. Friday. Eyewitness News. Yeah, well, you know, the Rangers won Let's last go, night. Mets. The Rangers won last night, okay. so that's at least some, some <laughs> good things. We have the Liberty about to win a championship. I'm not even thinking baseball. Wow. Hockey season. Wow. He's Listen, moving on, Reagan. I'm, I'm Thank you for that. That's the kind of fan I am. Sure. Let's see it now. All right, things are looking much better for New York Liberty. How about this? They could win their first WNBA championship title. I think this is going to happen, all right? All the action in hopes of covering a championship celebration. Look for her live reports later in the newscast. And you can check this out. How about this? A Liberty fan spotted this billboard at West 34th Street and 7th Avenue near Penn Station. A picture of Sabrina Ionescu and in true New York fashion, it says, Ionescu. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, you got to okay, do it. You can't so the do it. laughs from the studio tells me that they get it. Can you say, can you say it one more time for us? Here, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, back to baseball temperatures. Really nice for the Mets game around first pitch, 66, de 66 degrees. And we're not going to have as much wind. North winds up to 10 to 15 miles per hour for the late innings near 60. Nice and clear skies. We're clear this morning, and we're down in the 30s and the 40s throughout this afternoon. A milder end. Temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 60s. Nice and sunny. A really nice Friday on the way. More the same this weekend. It gets even better. Saturday 71, Sunday 75. We could get close to the upper 70s on Monday. And now we do have some rain in the seven day forecast. I want to show you that in just a few. Heather? All right, for those who use the, the 40s Express, we throughout definitely this want afternoon, a milder end. Temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 60s. Nice and sunny. A really nice Friday on the way. 
more of the same this weekend. It gets even better. Saturday, 71. Sunday, 75. We could get close to the upper 70s. Then the same for Newark. And with those temperatures, we do have these freeze and frost alerts in effect through 9 o'clock. It's breezy, especially closer to the coast. North winds up to 5 to 14 miles per hour. And it could be breezy at times throughout this afternoon. Skies are clear, and that means we are in for plenty of sunshine. And as a result, we take these numbers into the mid to upper 60s. Heather? And break for Staten Island commuters. We'll check in with Newscopter 7's John Del Giorno. Hey, John. That's right, Heather. Good morning. If you were watching us yesterday morning at this time, you saw almost exactly the same thing. So Staten Island commuters eastbound here just before Brad. Damage is done. Left lane and the HOV lane are out of service. I'll pull the shot back, Heather. Once again, we've got delays. Bumper to bumper volume right back to the Gothels Bridge. Yeah, and I called three playoff games tonight, but the moods among each fan base... Totally different. I don't even know if I want to be a part of this. I think you and Reagan need to be duking it out. I can you know, stay out of it. Well, let's you know start with I mean? the good. We'll start with the good. Witness News reporter Reagan Meji live at City Field with more. I mean, the two of y'all have been going at it all morning. I kind of, you know, yeah, want to stay out of she's it. A, she's optimistic, and I, and I understand. I just I don't have it in me. Yeah. No, you don't. And that's why you have me today. Poor Charlene's like a rose between two thorns. You got thorny, <laughs> sad pants on the desk, and you have thorny, happy pants out yeah, in the field. That's, that's basically accurate. what is it all morning long. I love it. Listen, we're, listen, we have the Liberty, the Yankees, the Mets. We, we're going to do this, right? So let, I'm going to set the stage. This is the calm before the fan storm here at City Field. There will be people flooding this parking lot. It is a Friday. Brittany Bell, my girl, is all about the great weather today. The first pitch is at 5.08 tonight against the Dodgers. Yes, we're going to take this. Okay. That was last night. That was all yesterday. We're talking today here at City Field. Yeah, 508 is the first pitch against the Dodgers, the Mets. Let's go, Mets. We're going to get it. We're eventually going to get tied in this series, and then we're going to win it. Then we're going to go to the Subway World Series. I still have it in me, the belief. No matter what happens tonight, we're going to get it. Okay, we're live here at City Field, Reagan Meji, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. I'm happy you have that. I'm not feeling that, to be honest with you. But hey, but, uh, you know, it's for possible. For the love, Pedro. For <laughs> the love. It's possible. It is still possible. It is. It is. Reagan, thank you for your report. And after that, incredible. 4, 630. I believe it. 613 right now. You're never more than seven minutes away from weather and traffic. Meteorologist Brittany Bell with our forecast. And back over to baseball. Nice weather for the Mets game this evening. Temperatures a tad warmer because of the earlier start. 66 for first pitch. Nice and sunny. Not as windy, but it could be breezy at times. North winds up to 10 to 17 miles per hour. And for the late innings, near 60. As you get the kids ready for school this morning, get ready for the 30s and the 40s. But it's going to feel better and milder this afternoon. Up to 68 in the city. And most of us topping out in the mid to upper 60s with a lot of sunshine. So a really nice second half tonight. Not not as chilly, but we do fall down into the 30s and the 40s outside of the city. Look at this weekend, 71 and, seven, and sunny on Saturday and 75 on Sunday. Heather? All right, Brittany, we're zooming in this issue on the Cross Bronx going on to the eastbound side of Castle Hill Avenue. A truck is leaking. Great advice from Nina, as always. Um, Nina, by the way, is on her way mm -hmm. right now to Minneapolis for the Liberty game. And we just caught up with her at LaGuardia. Check this out. Okay, New Yorkers, you know where we're headed. We're at the airport. We're at LaGuardia. We are getting on the 6.30 a.m. flight to Minneapolis. Right now it is game four. The Liberties could clinch it. And uh, we just got here and are so excited to land because if this happens, if this win happens for the... All right, we better go because they're calling our flight right now. Of course, you know me. I'm always just a little bit late. Uh, but we're going to send this back to you, and we will touch base with you when we land in Minneapolis. Let's go, Liberty. Let's go, Liberty. Nina's reports later on Eyewitness News. Looking forward to that. Um, by the way, it was my pleasure, if you take a look at this now, uh, to flip the switch at the Empire State Building um, in the honor by those back-to-back -back storms. And, I mean...
that reach is across the country. It's needed. Yeah. Nice to bring awareness and it was a nice honor for you too. It was to be on the, at yeah. the Empire State Building. Can I tell you how it feels on uh, the 102nd <laughs> oh, floor on a day like that? It got to be cold. <laughs> but it's going to get better out there if you are going up there. Yes, it gets better starting this afternoon okay, and that trend continues throughout this weekend right now. We're mainly in the 30s and the 40s, but there are some areas dipping down. For Poughkeepsie, you're below freezing the same in Sussex. 29, 30 in Morristown, 32 in Somerville and Belmar, up to 40 degrees, 44 in Bridgeport. We take these numbers in the mid to upper 60s and some spots, especially around interior New Jersey, you could get closer to the lower 70s. Elizabeth, 70 for you, the same in Edison, Madison, 69 and Patterson, the upper 60s. It is breezy, primarily closer to the coast. North winds ranging from 5 to 14 miles per hour. And it could stay breezy throughout this afternoon and this evening. Winds will finally diminish overnight. But with gusty winds potentially up to 20 miles per hour around New Jersey and Staten Island, there is an elevated fire risk. So any small spark could spread very quickly. Over to coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding that is possible throughout this afternoon, especially around high tide due to an offshore low and a recent full moon. We have these coastal flood advisories for parts in New Jersey, the boroughs, Nassau, Fairfield, and Westchester. That's in effect throughout this afternoon. Skies are clear, and that's all thanks to high pressure that will continue to settle in, keeping us quiet in that area of low pressure that is moving away from us. So high pressure, our main weather maker throughout this weekend. With this high getting closer, we'll have a change in wind direction, more so out of the south and southwest, pushing in milder air. That will last through at least the first half of next week. And with this high pressure nearby, too, that means we stay dry, even though we really do need some rain. A quick check of the tropics. This area in the southwest Caribbean Sea that now has a higher chance of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but that's going to run into the Yucatan Peninsula. And now better news for this other tropical wave we've been watching all week near the Leeward Islands. Development is now unlikely, only down to 10%. Bottom line is going to bring extra showers to portions of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands over the next few days. For us, sunny, 68, breezy north winds up to 8 to 16 miles per hour. And then tonight, 50, the 40s in the suburbs. Tomorrow, 71, a really fantastic start to the weekend. Sunday, 75. We could get close to the this afternoon, but this morning the fall chill continues. It's not too bad in the city, currently at 50 clear skies, but and over 33 for you and the same in Kingston Cold Spring down to 34. Good morning in Bridgeport, 44 and up to 54 in Montauk. And we have these frost and freeze alerts in effect until 9 o'clock. It's breezy, especially closer to the coast. North northeast winds up to 5 to 14 miles per hour. And it could be breezy at times throughout this afternoon. Skies are clear and that means we are in for plenty of sunshine as a result, we take these numbers into the mid to upper 60s. Heather? MLB playoffs, we need more wins here. It was a tough <laughs> night for our teams, right? The Yankees are going to try to bounce back yeah. uh, after losing game three of the ALCS against uh, game four against uh, the Guardians. But it is the Mets who really have their backs against the wall. They're one loss away from elimination after they got blown out again in game four of the NLCS against the Dodgers. But for some reason, Pedro, mm -hmm. I think they've got this. I think they can do it. Yeah, I went to see supporter Reagan Meggie's live at City Field. Reagan, my advice is just don't throw Shohei Otani a fastball down the middle and you should be okay. Okay, I hear I hear a different feeling through Pedro's I'm voice. To be I feel like the positivity has gone through me to Shirlene, to you. There and you listen, go. we're talking about the good luck charm, <laughs> right? So Nina, she's going with the Liberty. Yeah. Yeah. I am all about a theme party. So I got my blue, my Mets blue on Woo! here. Okay. I got my Yankees blue here. Maybe. That's right. So, yeah, we got another game tonight here at City Field, the Dodgers. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't the greatest game last night. We can get to that really quickly, and I mean, like, really quickly, because we want to get to the good. In Cleveland, first pitch at 8.08 with the Yankees, okay? And then tonight here at City Field, first pitch, 5.08, Mets, Dodgers. And we're going to say we're going to get it with the Mets. Let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Oh, okay.
Let's go Mets. Uh, let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. It's hard wow, to feel as so excited as you. You know, my husband's going to be at that game tonight. I'm not so happy he's not going to be home for dinner, but you know what? It's for good reason. Maybe he'll bring him yeah, some. He gets a luck. pass. Yes, it is. <laughs> he never more than seven minutes away from weather and traffic. Let's hope he's freezing out there, Brittany. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm oh. kidding. It's just your luck. It's going to be pretty nice oh, yeah. <laughs> for the game. 66 <laughs> degrees, sunny, not as breezy. North winds up to 9 to 17 miles per hour down into the upper 50s for the late innings. As you get the kids ready for school this morning, get ready for the 30s and the 40, 40s as soon as you step outside. But this afternoon, turning milder, we climb into the mid to upper 60s, mostly sunny, and it could be breezy at times. And tonight falling down to the 30s and the 40s, but the 50s and the burrow. Tomorrow, a really nice start to the weekend, 71 on Saturday. Look at Sunday, even warmer, 75 degrees. We could get close to the 80s on Monday. I'll have your full seven-day forecast coming up. Heather? All right, Brittany, let's zoom on in and see what's happening here as you travel onto the LIE in Jericho. Right near exit 40, accident, three lanes are closed down. I'm Reagan Medji at City Field in Queens, where it is do or die time for the Mets in today's game. The Dodgers taking a commanding 3-1 series lead in the NLCS after a 5-7. They play against Knight, first pitch 8-0-8 in Cleveland. But here, Mets taking on the Dodgers once again, first pitch 5-0-8 tonight. Let's go Mets. We're live at City Field, Reagan Medji, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Reagan, let's talk about the Cross Bronx. Nothing to be really thrilled about here. Eastbound, right near Castle Hill Avenue. Tractor trailer cleared rules are in effect. Brittany. And we're getting off to a chilly start, but it turns milder this afternoon. High temperatures reaching the mid to upper 60s, even some lower 70s. And tomorrow, 71, sunny, 75 on. When it comes to trust, no one delivers like Eyewitness News. Brittany, it's going to be a nice day out there today. That's right, but this morning it's still chilly in some areas. We're in the 30s, 40s, and the 50s, 51. In the Let's get a check a little closer to home. And it's breezy for us, chilly with temperatures in the 30s, 40s, and the witnesses. Brittany, it's going to be a great day. Out. That's right. Right now, still holding on to a chill. We're in the 30s and the 40s, 51 in the city, 39 in Poughkeepsie, and 37 degrees in Sussex. But by this afternoon, we climb into the mid to upper 60s, even the lower 70s in some. 26. I guess if you're up or down the eastern mm -hmm. seaboard, you're like us, below sea level. Yeah. That's a big, big concern. And these steps are necessary to protect in the event of worst case scenario. You sure. don't want to think about it, but. And what are we seeing? Yeah, more exactly. And more. It can happen. Uh, but the opposite for us, this quiet we stretch. We have seen rain or any. Yeah. I'm 55 in Central Park, light winds near 5 miles per hour. Most of us are in the 40s and the 50s. It's 56 in Toms River, 57 in Islip, and still holding on to the 40s for Sussex and Poughkeepsie, 48 degrees for you. It's breezy primarily closer to the coast. Northeast winds are up to 13 to 17 miles per hour, and coastal areas will have the strongest winds throughout this afternoon. But gusts could approach 20 miles per hour even across parts of New Jersey and Fairfield County, and that's where we have an elevated fire risk due to the combination of very dry air and breezy winds. Any small spark could spread very quickly. And minor coastal flooding is also possible throughout this afternoon during high tide. We have coastal flood advisories for parts of New Jersey, the boroughs, Nassau, Westchester, and Fairfield County, up to an extra foot of water above ground and that could push in later today. Skies are clear, and that's all thanks to high pressure, and that's taking control. This is our main weather maker. This area of low pressure, that's pushing away from us, and high pressure will move overhead. With this high nearby, that's going to keep us dry and sunny, warming us up to that change in wind direction, pushing in warmer air. That's why we climbed to the 70s this weekend, and we stay in the 70s through most of next week, but on the downside, we stay mainly dry. A quick check of the tropics. I'm watching this area of low pressure in the southwest Caribbean Sea that now has a higher chance of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm that could become Nadine, but that will run into the Yucatan Peninsula. And better news for this other cluster of storms we're watching near the Leeward Islands that has a lower chance of formation, now down to 10% bottom line. It's going to bring heavier rain to parts of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. For us, 68 degrees, a chilly start, then a milder and pleasant afternoon, sunny and breezy, north winds up to 8 to 16 miles per hour, gusting near 20 in some areas. Tonight, 50, the 40s in the suburbs. And look at tomorrow, climbing to 71 degrees, plenty of sunshine. This nice helps at this point.
Oh I'm looking at God. Monday. That's 79. Looks uh, good. No, yeah. so Monday well, looks right? good. All right, still ahead on Eyewitness News this morning. It's a major makeover in the works. A new plan to transform Fifth Avenue into a Grand Boulevard drive. I heard the hits from the radiator. Yeah. <laughs> Early. I was like, what yeah, is I that? did. Oh. I can't lie. I turned the heat on a little bit. Yeah. I, I had I, to. Yeah. It has to be like below zero for me to sleep. It needs to be oh. freezing, but during oh. the day, yeah, mm -mm. I will put on the heat. <laughs> That's I mean, really it. cold. Wow, I'm feeling judged. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say that. I'm just trying to smile. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, some areas this morning got down into the upper 20s, the 30s, yes, and the yes, 40s, but yes. things start to improve this afternoon. That coming up. All right, thanks so much, Thank Brittany. You. We are closely following developments in the Mideast. Israeli forces killing Yahya Sinwar, the Hamas leader known to have orchestrated the October 7th attacks in Israel. Yeah, we are learning new details about where Sinwar was hiding. 68 degrees. And now it's time for my favorite topic, shopping. ABC Secret Sales, where we can find exclusive limited time deals. And this week, we're showing you the best fall essentials. Here are the top products Sam Champion and Danny Beckstrom lined up to shop. Oh, hi. It's great. time for... <laughs> An all-new ABC Secret Sales with limited time savings just for you. Tighten that cord, but overall, oh, doing okay. okay this thanks. week, we're bringing you some of your fall favorites. It's only while supplies last. So scan that QR code or head to abcsecretsales.com to get shopping. What's going on well, here, Well, first Sam? of all, we're selling a car. No, we're not. We create a home gym with stamina to work out on your own schedule. Now, we've got three machines targeting different goals. This, you can tell, it's a Pilates reformer. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've done Pilates. I have. You yeah. have. It helps by toning and shaping muscles while enhancing flexibility. Are you feeling it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the getting up part was harder than the actual Pilates. I didn't Pilates. even help him. But All make right. an investment in your wellness routine with our deal. Do you think it's... Same pull, you can get the same squeeze. You can do everything you can do on a Pilates machine. Next up. Cover Compression is one of the most trusted brands in active recovery with over 300,000 customer reviews. Wow. You're going to be about 300,001. 300, <laughs> Anyone dealing with pain or just looking for a little relief while staying active can benefit from compression. Yeah. You can save on solutions for... Fingers, fingers, hands, back, knees, toes, and more. All of this is just 40% off right now. I'm thinking you're needing one of all of it. <laughs> I shouldn't make fun. Yes. I just stood there and watched. <laughs> all right, we're, I love this next product. Bring memories to life with a digital frame from Proper Hills. You can upload over 20,000 pictures and videos directly into the frame. The high resolution display makes it almost like you're seeing a live feed, which is so cool. Mm. This is what I have on my bedside here. Picture of Sandy's garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like your friends and family are right there with you. You can phone. Get 65% off and free shipping. I bet your mom loved it, yeah, right? Loved yeah. it. Love this product as well. Protect those memories with Easy Backup. It's ultimate backup. It stores your photos with wired. Save at least 60% and get free shipping. And Sam, you've had a busy morning. You've worked, you've worked out, you've done both at the same time. So I bet your phone's dead. Now, I'm charging it now. Finally, never let your devices run out of power on the go. Fall favorites, scan the QR code and head to abcsecretsales.com to get shopping. I'm getting you the reformer. I like that. <laughs> and for all of these products and more, check out abcsecretsales.com. All right, coming up on Eyewitness News Mornings at 10, Ch Sam Champion, he returns to open up. Check with Eyewitness News this morning, first thing. When you're up to speed, you're good to go. We begin with breaking news. Get your AccuWeather forecast, first thing. So you're prepared, first thing. Get traffic, first thing, so you know where to go. Weekdays on Channel 7 and your streaming devices. The oil because that helps with the healing of the scar. Yeah. So he, he gave a great posted. demonstration too this morning about sunscreen. And Sam mm -hmm. is also being recognized as one of the top educators in Out Magazine's 30th annual Out 100. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Singer Chapel Roan, journalist Rachel Maddow, and comedian Bowen Yang. I, I got to talk to Sam several times, you know, in the 80s and 90s where tabloids were looking at everything, trying to exploit mm -hmm. you for being, yeah. Yeah. For being LGBTQ, who yeah. being who you are. They were trying to exploit you as a negative. A wild and, time. And, you know, I'm happy that he, he found a home here at ABC where he's able to be An himself. inspiration to so many people. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. This weekend, it's time to rock and roll as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They're inducting some new people into, uh, into to tomorrow night. It's happening from Cleveland, and it's on Disney+. Plus. You yes, we've it. been bopping our heads. Some 
some classics. <laughs> a genre-spanning batch of legends are going to join the hall as part of its class of 2024. Among this year's new class, what do we think? Cher? Pretty good. Right? She's the only woman to have a number one hit on a Billboard chart in each of the past seven decades. Wow. She won a Grammy for Be Without You. Uh -huh. In 2018, she received two Oscar nominations for the film Mudbound and became the first person nominated for acting and original song in the same year. She is just epic. You got to love it. Formed in New Jersey, uh, Jersey City, New Jersey in 1964. How about this? In the 80s, they produced 19 charting uh, singles, including Celebration. We're talking about Cool in the Gang. Yes. How about Dave Matthews, huh? One of the top love selling him. live acts of all time. The only band with seven consecutive uh, albums debuting at number one. Still touring and selling out to this day everywhere they go. Yep, we got Ozzy Osbourne, mm -hmm. uh, Rock's beloved Prince of Darkness. <laughs> um, he has sold 70 million albums and filled 2,600 arenas in concerts around the world. And if you want to see Cool and the Gang, Cher, and Mary J. Blige, and many special guests, the ceremony kicks off at 7 p.m. tomorrow. And you can stream the whole party live on Disney+. Plus. Disney is a parent company of WABC-TV. All right, when we come back, we'll take a final look at what's coming up today on Eyewitness News at noon. Our friend David Navarro with what's coming up at noon. Hi, David. Hey, Shirley. Hey, team. We can't forget the Liberty. So close yeah. to winning their first championship. Our Nina Pineda helps to be their good luck charm. She's in Minnesota for all the action. Shirley, you're from Queens. You must have some hoops game in you. Hoops game? Yeah. Me? I have no ups. <laughs> None. How about well, you, Brittany? Could, uh, but David, this guy feels seen. I was yeah. saying maybe <laughs> maybe we could put Charlene on the mound. She wouldn't throw a change up right down the middle, you know, to a power hit. You had to go back there? Wow. You had to go back? Sorry. Go Yanks. Go Yanks. Let's look forward. <laughs> Thank I'm looking forward to this weather yeah. today. You got to tell me what that means after change up. Uh, <laughs> we are changing things up this weekend. More sun, 71 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday. And then Monday, temperatures reaching the mid to upper 70s. Notice Tuesday and Wednesday, we stay in the 70s around the area. And then a chance for showers late Wednesday through early Thursday morning. You used change up perfectly right there. That was a perfect. And, well, oh, okay. I said no ups. That no, was good, no right? Ups, yeah. Look at uh, us. I, I, can we get some credit here? <laughs> Great job, guys. That's <laughs> 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 morning <laughs> Broadway backstage, Sunday. Oh, mm -hmm. Meteorologist Brittany Bell here with the Accurate Weather Forecast. Brittany. That's right, David. No weather issues to worry about. Really nice, especially for the start of the game around first pitch. 66 degrees, and it's not going to be as windy. North winds ranging from 10 miles per hour, gusting potentially up to 15 to 17. And for the late innings, clear with temperatures near 59 degrees. Most of us are in the 50s and the 60s. It's 61 in Central Park. 62 in White Plains, down to 60 in Poughkeepsie. Liberty, you're situated near 53. And it's breezy primarily closer to the coast due to an offshore low. You are dealing with winds out of the north up to 10 to 14 miles per hour, even gusting near 20 in some areas. And it stays breezy throughout this afternoon, but winds will finally diminish overnight. Skies are clear, and that's the case all around the region. So today, more sun, highs reaching the mid to upper 60s, even the lower 70s in some areas. It's going to be chilly again late tonight through early tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, we rebound into the 70s and hit 75 degrees on Sunday. David, Lauren. Thank you, Brittany. A fire at a house is on. Uh, it's just so brave. Yep. We're yeah. seeing more and more of those stories as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do not need to um, worry about this weekend <laughs> at all. We're just going to let the fresh yeah, air in. Yeah, go outside, just enjoy it. Yes. Sunshine, temperatures in the 70s, and we stay in the 70s through most of next week. Right now, mainly in the 60s, 7 degrees warmer compared to this time yesterday. Northeast winds near 8 miles per hour. We're expecting a high of 60 and above the average of 64, so now climbing above average after we were below normal over the past few days. But rainfall is still well below normal for the month, near 2.5 inches for Central Park. Sunset at 610. It's 62 in Danbury, the same in Bridgeport, Tom's River, 63 for you, and 63 in Morristown. We are holding on to a breeze, especially for areas closer to the coast due to an offshore low. Winds are out of the north-northeast up to 10 to 14 miles per hour, gusting near 20.
So that combination of gusty winds and dry air, that's leading to elevated fire danger around the tri-state, especially for New Jersey, Staten Island, and Fairfield County, and that continues throughout this afternoon. Meanwhile, watching the potential for coastal flooding, there's a coastal flood advisory for Middlesex, Monmouth Ocean, uh, the Bronx, Queens, Northern Nassau, Lower Westchester, and coastal Fairfield County. Throughout this afternoon, up to a foot of extra water above ground is possible during high tide because of that offshore low and the recent full moon. But skies are clear and when we take out the camera view, more the same all across the East Coast, even moving farther inland, all thanks to this large area of high pressure keeping the clouds and the rain away, this area of low pressure that is moving away from us. This high, that's our main weather maker. Heading into this weekend, keeping things dry, warming us up, highs in the 70s, and overall we are just in for mostly sunny skies. But a quick check of the tropics, watching two areas. Now this one in the Southwest Caribbean Sea, this has a higher chance of development now, up to 50% that could turn into a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next few days, but that runs into the Yucatan Peninsula and fizzles out. Watching another area that we've been just talking about all week, that chance of formation is much lower now down to 10 percent. This will just bring a round of heavier rain in portions of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Today is 68, sunny, a milder afternoon, breezy, especially for areas near the coast. Tonight, 51, the 40s in the suburbs, and the winds will start to taper off. Tomorrow, recovering up to 71 degrees, sunny and 75 on Sunday. Look at Monday. Highs reaching the mid to upper 70s. Some isolated areas he learned that can help everyone. Plus, he's taken over Pop News this this morning, it is all coming up right here on GMA. Uh, Brittany, past Sam on the way down here, uh -huh. and it was like such a nice thing to see him back. I love, you know, we love you, Brittany. Mm -hmm. We love Sam. We, there's just all the love going around Quick today. Quick question, on this Friday. though, is he wearing a tie? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think he lost the tie. Oh, he lost I think the tie. This I think morning. that was one time thing. <laughs> got it, got it. All right, <laughs> we'll see you all in just a few minutes, Rebecca. And right now we're getting out to a quiet start. We still have that fall chill with temperatures in the 30s and the 40s and clear skies, but things will start to feel better this afternoon with highs in the 60s. It's 50 in Central Park, northwest winds near 7 miles per hour. Below freezing in Poughkeepsie, 30 for you. Sussex, the upper 20s. Morristown, 30. And it's down to 37 degrees in Danbury, 44 in Bridgeport. Later today, we begin to climb a tad above average for the Bronx near 68 to 67. Williams Bridge, 67 for you. The same in Bedford Park, Tremont, 68, and Riverdale up to 68 degrees. It's breezy closer to the coast. North winds up to 5 to 14 miles per hour, and it could be breezy at times throughout this afternoon. And this is why we have an elevated fire risk for parts of the tri-state. That includes most of New Jersey, Staten Island, and now Fairfield County has been added to that list. And with that, any small spark could spread very quickly. On the opposite end of the spectrum, coastal flooding, that could happen later throughout this afternoon. We have coastal flood advisories for parts of New Jersey, the boroughs, Nassau, Westchester, and coastal Fairfield County. Up to an extra foot of water above ground is possible throughout this afternoon due to a coastal low and a recent full moon. Skies are clear, and we have high pressure to thank for that. That will stay in control, and that's going to be our main weather maker heading into this weekend. So that means a lot of sun, warmer temperatures, but unfortunately, we stay mainly dry, even though we really do need some rain. I am watching a cluster of showers and storms wrapping around an area of low pressure in the Southwest Caribbean Sea. This now has a higher chance of turning into a tropical depression or a tropical storm that could turn into Nadine, but it runs into the Yucatan Peninsula. And better news for this area we've been watching all week near the Leeward Islands, that chance for form formation is now down to 10%, so development is unlikely. That's just going to bring some rain to portions of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. For us, sunny, 68 sunny and breezy tonight, 50, the 40s in the suburbs, 71 tomorrow afternoon, 75 on Sunday. Look at Monday, 79 degrees.